Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do a little bit of a flashlight roundup, okay? I got three flashlights here, um, and, you know, I, I did a fourth one. Uh, these all went out with me the other night, and uh, I went out to the park, and I did some testing. I also have the uh, Nightcore EDC 35, and I'm going to do a full video on this guy um, a little bit later, because this one's uh, very interesting, and... Uh, they're dropping another batch. Now, we have the Brinty PT-16. This is a long-range kind of thrower. I did a whole video on this, and I have beam shot footage in that video, so check that out. Um, I'm going to include uh, the beam shot footage from all three of these at the end of this video. I didn't want to break it up because, I, I don't know, I just thought a video for each one was a little much. And I know a lot of guys don't want to see the flashlight stuff, so I figure I'll cram it all into one. But this thing throws really far. It has a goofy purple uh, ring around the outside. I don't understand. But there's a whole video on this, so check that out. The Workos TD-05 is an interesting flashlight. Um, I think, you know, it falls into that Workos category where they're just, like, stupid cheap. Um, Through Night is the same way. But, um, yeah, you get SFT 45,000K, which looks way cooler than that. But, hey, uh, maybe that's an SFT 40 thing. You have a tail switch, and that uh, turns on the side switch. You cannot use the side switch until you have turned on the tail switch. You get four modes, eco, low, medium, and high. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you can look up the uh, instructions and all that stuff. I think it goes up to 1,800 lumens. They say an hour and eight minutes on turbo. I'm pretty sure that means after uh, it steps down to like 800 lumens. But decent hot spot you'll see in the uh, beam shot footage. Pretty comfortable in hand. We have an 18650 Workos rechargeable battery. It does recharge in my quad bay charger. It works just fine. Um, you can use other batteries in here as well. You also have a uh, Type-C USB port here that is nicely covered. So you can charge it that way as well if you like. You have an orange peel reflector, that SFT40 there. And you have some knurling here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty slick. Comes with a cable and a lanyard and all that stuff. Decent size light. Um, and you get good performance for the size. I think, you know, the balance is pretty good on this light. Um, so that is the Workos TD-05. The next one here is the Thrunite Tie Pro. And this one's very simple. Uh, 14500 rechargeable battery. You can use the USB-C right there into the battery or throw it onto a charging bay. Any other 14500 or double a battery will work in this so this is dual voltage which is pretty sick um considering that it is tiny guys this is a 14500 flashlight my other 14500s are like this long and a lot thicker they're still great they're still very pocketable but much bigger than this so this thing's pretty um pretty impressive for the size you have three modes you have low medium and high. Um, I don't know the uh, lumens on this off the top of my head. I'm guessing it's somewhere around 500. Did I keep the... Um, I think I did. Hang on. Is this it? Nope. That's not it. I uh, don't know if I kept the, uh, the box for this one. Sorry, guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around 500 lumens. This is excellent if you're looking for a little pocket or purse or car or whatever flashlight that is tiny but has decent battery life. I mean, the runtime on this, 920 milliamp hours. That's pretty damn good. Um, if you think about it, there's a lot of AAA lights that are about the same size. And you're going to get 300 milliamp hours maybe, right? This head also uh, and body, you can swap with the UV version of this light. I have that. So, let me just show you some stuff here. I might have done this in the unboxing, but I'll show you again. So, this is a uh, Olight i3T. So, this is a AAA flashlight. And you can see, I mean, it's longer and slightly thinner. 
but you're getting triple the battery life out of that, right? Um, here is the UV. So this is the uh, Through Night UV Archer, I think, or Archer UV. You can actually swap heads. So if I take the UV head, take the UV head, put it on here, bang, I get UV. Then I can take this, which is a rechargeable AA battery, and I can put this guy on there, and bang. You get lower output, but you're going to get rechargeability features. Pretty cool. Uh, let me put these back together the way they were, just to be safe. And you'll see... Um, here is the Archer Pro, one of my favorite lights. Has, um, ramping, which is cool. And you can see it's a bit brighter. It's a bigger flashlight, right? Um, this one has a reflector in there. You see that? A little orange peeled reflector. This has an optic. So I don't know if it's a TIR, you guys tell me. But it looks, it's just an optic. There's no reflector. Um, at least not that, maybe a little bit. But basically it's just giving you, um, that little bit of light that, you know, it has a hot spot up close, but it's flooding pretty much, right? This one has a reflector, so you get that hot spot in the center there. Let me ramp it up a little. It's going down and back up. It's the one cool thing about this light. So you can see a hot spot in the center stays there a little longer than it does with this one. Turns into a flood a lot quicker on this guy right here. And uh, it's cooking. It's not super hot right now, but it is hot-ish. And that was on high for, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever. And that's pretty good for how small this damn thing is. So I really like the, uh, the Tide Pro. I'll link it down below. And again, guys, these are like $20 on Amazon. Okay? 20 friggin' dollars. Linking it down below. All right. The next one is the EDC 27, guys. And... I gotta tell you, I freaking love this flashlight, okay? This thing is super cool, super functional, and it just works. The one thing I don't like is the uh, pressure you need to cycle. I tend to accidentally click it on or off or whatever. Um, just something to get used to. You gotta, you know, you get that click and then taps, right? But I tend to just accidentally turn it off. It has a uh, level one, a level two, three and then it has a turbo and a full strobe turbo that level one is 15 lumens level two is 65 level three is 200 and then you get a thousand lumens on level four and then this is 3000 lumens either turbo or strobe and you'll see it started counting down there and that's gonna it's gonna uh cycle down once it hits that's really really burning right now and then boom steps down to a thousand lumens and now it'll hold that thousand lumens for uh i forget what it is like a couple hours so if you put it on level four you get an hour and 33 minutes on this thousand lumens and that's what you'll get with turbo it'll go to three thousand for that 10 seconds and then it'll kick down to level four and you'll get it for another hour and a half or whatever and this is pretty bright you guys will see in the beam footage uh, it's just man it's a really nice light it's functional it works really well i wanted to compare it to olight because i know a lot of people are going to compare these right so first off this is the arcfeld pro from olight i really love this flashlight it has more functionality you're going to have the uh, flashlight the laser and then the uv pretty cool that it has all those but it's going to be a little bit less powerful right if i go to turbo here oops you got a triple tap for turbo on this it's very floody which this is as well and i think it's about 1200 lumens or something like that this guy 3000 just blinding right bang you get that full strobe it's just a little bit brighter um but it's it's made for that right it has dual emitters up here this does too but only one of them is for the light the other one is for the uv and then that middle one is for the laser both are really cool both are uh well-made products both made in china of course 
But the thing that's the same is they both have this sort of slender uh, design, right? Now, there is a big difference, though. With the Olight, you're going to be holding it like this. You're pointing it, right? With the EDC 27, you're holding it in a sort of reverse grip like this. Right? You're doing it like that. And it's just a little different. I actually prefer this over that, but they're kind of for different purposes. You know, this is more tactical. This is more like all around EDC. So, you know, uh, they're both great. They both have their place. I'll link Olight down below. I do have a discount code, Lefty EDC. We'll save you 10% on non-sale items from Olight. And I'll link this down below as well, I believe on Amazon. Um, you have 1,700 milliamp hour here, 3.7 volt, 6.29 watt hours. Now, the thing, max current uh, is 1.7 amp, max discharge is 10 amp, which is pretty good. Uh, now, you have an internal battery here, so you cannot... Re replace this battery, of course. Um, you do have some functionality. I, I believe you can reprogram this so that it cycles from high to low. Um, it also obviously has memory. And then I believe you can change the um, this back here. So maybe the full push is turbo and the half push is strobe or something like that. I like it the way it is because... If you're in a situation where you need this, your instinct is to pick up and go, oh, just mash that thing, right? Your, your adrenaline is just going to hammer that button. And that's when you get what you need. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and if you're thinking, maybe just kind of ease up and hit turbo, right? But more likely, you're in a normal situation when you do that. You just need a lot of light. But if you're in trouble, bam, you just mash it, right? Uh, now, the lock feature, I find, is pretty intuitive. You just hold this down. And you'll see, all oh right, the screen has to be on first, I think. And then you hold on one, two, okay? So level two is completely shut off. Nothing is working. To unlock it, you just want that screen to pop up, kind of like double tap and hold. And then it'll do this unlocking image right there, right? It'll tell you the lumens and then how long that will stay on. It'll come up on the screen for a second and then go away. Now, if you level one lock it, so you just hold down until it says one and let go. Now I still have the turbo button functionality. So essentially I have momentary functionality. I do not have any constant on functionality. Only momentary. So I can do turbo and I can do strobe. So basically, it's still tactical. If you needed it, bang. But it's locked in your pocket, so you can't accidentally... Unless something was pressing on it constantly, you wouldn't be able to, like, burn yourself in your pocket or something. And I think that's pretty cool. So you have those two options for locks, which I, I find that uh, to be very nice that they gave you those options. Uh, what are my gripes? Well, this switch is more prominent. So I want to go to that switch, right? So if I was in a scenario where I needed this, my gut instinct, I think, would be to hammer this switch and not this one. Now, that's training, right? You get this in your pocket every day and you practice strobing, right? So I think you'd be fine, but... That is one thing I don't love. The clip works great for me. Um, the size is pretty damn good. Uh, I'm not a super tacta bro, so, you know, it's not necessarily for me, but I think this flashlight is fantastic. I think they did a great job with this. Uh, I think I'm going to send this off to my buddy Jim, Jim Skelton. Uh, he reached out and was like, damn, that thing looks cool. So I think I'm going to send this on to him and let him take a look at it. I don't know if he'll do a video or anything, but, um, yeah. Uh, he is a Tacta bro, so this is perfect <laughs> for him. Ah, boy. That's the Nightcore EDC 27, and then we had the uh, Through Night Tie Pro, and we had the Workos TD. Make sure I don't grab the UV. TD05. Let me know which one you would rock if you could only pick one. I think, personally, I would probably go with this guy right here. Just simple, functional easy to manipulate 
and uh, small and lightweight. That's kind of my style, but um, I think most people would probably go with this guy. But hey, what do I know? Let me know. Links down below. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, guys. Kev here, and I have the Nightcore EDC 27 flashlight here to do some uh, beam shots with. So I did lock it. So let's see. If I just hold down, nothing happens. So I got to do a, a double tap and hold. It's unlocking. There we go. So now we are on a low mode. And I'm using the tail switch here like this. I, think, I don't know why I just blanked. There is no other switch. Well, there's a... There's like a uh, strobe switch, but anyway, turbo switch or whatever. So this is very moonlighty. This is an up close style flashlight. We do have dual emitters, but you know, the other lights I just tested, I could hit that uh, playground easy. I'm not even getting close with this. So I have to cycle up, see? It's a little touchy on the switch. You gotta get it to the right pressure which is fine because if you're carrying this you will know right i just carry a lot of different flashlights so it's difficult um but yeah now we're getting the playground a little bit still not really lighting it up we're gonna brighten that up one more mode there so we're on stage three right now this is uh i guess they're saying we'll get four hours on this i don't know how many lumens it is let's um cycle so 15, 65, and then that last one was 200 lumens. So this is 200 lumens, and this is great. I think four hours on this is excellent. I mean, you could do pretty much anything you needed on this mode. Walk your dog, um, take out the trash. You could do a hike in the dark with this. I mean, four hours, this is plenty of light. You know, you could set this down somewhere. And then you have light for a while. Really nice. Um, again, we're not getting much throw. So here's a bench that's 10 feet away, 15 feet away. There's a goal that's 50 feet away, right? Barely lights it up, but you can see a path to it. So I think it's good, man. And here is, um, oops, let's do that again. I got, just got to learn this flashlight a little bit. I've been cycling through a bunch for this video. I really struggle with this switch. The pressure, it's not the pressure, is it? It's how long you click it. I see. Nope. Anyway, 1,000 lumens. And it says it'll work for an hour and 47 minutes on this. So even this would be good then for that hike or, um, you know, walking the dog or whatever. Look at this. This is excellent. Yeah, this is great. Um, flooding that whole area up to that goalpost, no problem. Um, there's the truck. It's lighting the truck up. It's lighting up this whole area really well. So, um, yeah, this is <laughs> excellent. So let's cut that. We'll go to the next one, which I can't ever do. It's got soft presses, Kev. There it is, 15 lumens. All right, and then if you go here on this switch, you get turbo. So this is strobe, okay? So you get 3,000 lumens on strobe here, right? Um, it's I guess you'd have to be on the other end of it. It doesn't look that bad from my side, which is good because, honestly, I feel like strobes can suck because it's worse for me than it is for the attacker sometimes. Um, but in this case, it's actually pretty easy for me to see, no problem, but they would be getting hit with that repeated, you know, and then here is just regular turbo, just kind of a half press. And that is really good. 3000 lumens, just full flood, full flood. Here's uh, vertical and here's horizontal. I think it's stepped down already. There you go. Really nice. So that is the EDC. 27 i mean it's not even that hot and then if i want to lock it i just hold nope i double tap and hold nope i hold <laughs> okay 
So I figured it out. You have to tap it to get the screen on and then hold. So here, I'm gonna do, yeah. So from off, you gotta do double tap, hold. And then from on, instead of just holding, that doesn't work. You have to turn it on and then hold. But you gotta do it faster, I think. No? Look at that. I went. So there you go. It's a little bit finicky, but very, very good light. That is the EDC 27 from Nightcore. I think I actually like this better than the Arkfeld Pro from Olight. And I love Olight. I love the Arkfeld Pro. The thing I love about it is, you know, it has the laser and the UV. I don't really need those. My kid loves the laser. But this as a flashlight, I think, is better because it has... 3000 lumens it's got the tail switch for me that works a little better um so if you're looking for a great edc light i think this is a solid uh answer so check it out edc 27 i'll link it down below shout out to nightcore hope you guys have a great day and uh catch you later peace hey guys kev here and i have the workos td05 on me today and uh let's take a look at it so let's see, uh, I gotta remember how this works. Switch and then uh, I got the button up here. So let's cycle down, here's our low mode. We are not really hitting that playground much. If we cycle up, we start to see it a little bit there. Cycle up some more. Now we're getting a pretty good look at it. Uh, in terms of throw, pretty good. I mean, we're hitting that tree out there, this goal. We're hitting that goal okay. Um, yeah not bad cycle up one more now we're uh really getting that goal and it's a little foggy out here but look this playground's fully lit up which is nice digging that for sure and that was it um let's see if we cut it and then we come back it's gonna go so you give it like a double tap you basically get turbo here which is pretty good i mean a couple hundred meters for sure there's a goal out there i really hadn't seen before so here's that playground not bad yeah i dig it and again here's like a low mode so let me know what you guys think on the uh uh, Workos td 5 here. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, appreciate you guys. I'll link it down below. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey guys, Kev here. And I have this little through night Thai Pro or TI Pro. A little twisty 14500. Man, if you're looking for a compact light with a 14500, um... Man, I really look no further because this is absolutely tiny, which you'll see in the video. But um, here is a little bit of a beam test, so to speak. We're indoors because it's cold out and it's a little flashlight, you know. Um, but it's got a good uh, reflector or optic in there, sorry. And uh, yeah, so this is on a low right here. You could use this for moonlight or whatever you need. And again... These are really affordable flashlights. I I really would be surprised if this was more than 20 bucks. So here we go. I'm going to just twist and go to medium. Now we're on medium. And we're getting a little bit more of uh, a spill. You don't have that much of a hot spot. We can kind of close in on it here and see. You know, this is more of an optic. It's not set up to be super hot spotty but I mean, you get something there and then as we back up you can see how it just spills out more and more um, and then we have one more and this is high right here and this is again a 14500 flashlight very very small so i mean you're talking 350 400 maybe 500 lumens with this could be a little more but i don't know it's not cooking too much which is nice um, and this is great for something this size. I mean, it's incredible, really, in my opinion. 
and then you just twist and then you kick it back on and that's how you um, cycle boom boom and then back to low i am curious if there's some kind of memory so let's leave it on this and then we're going to cut it off and then when we come back on i think it's just going to come back on low but i want to confirm that so yes comes back on low and then you rotate just turn off and on to get it on uh high and then you just twist it off you know and put it in your pocket and you're good to go it's not loose it's just looser it's not it's not tightened all the way down so really really cool light um thank you to through night for sending it my way i will put a link to amazon in the description let me know if you guys have any questions as always i appreciate it guys this light is actually really cool i am constantly impressed with what through night does for the price point it is really really uh special i think where they're sitting in the market so if you're on a budget i think through night is the company to look at so love you guys hope you have a fantastic day and uh i'll catch you later peace